they are making supreme, supreme sacrifice so that 24 or 365 days we can live happily here. Every day we do our normal duty, go to sleep peacefully and get up in the morning. It is only because of these great brave hearts who are there sacrificing their lives on the border. So today is the most appropriate day to express our tribute and homage to all the freedom fighters before the freedom and all these armed forces people who are serving for us and giving and uh, helping in the progress and development of our country. So as we all know, in 1950 we became our republic country and our constitution was adopted. Our constitution really the fundamental rights of the Elagibatur Kinovisha, we have right for equality, uh, freedom of speech, right to, uh, for property, right to voting. There are so many rights are there. And generally, most of us are aware of our rights. But very few of us know that the same constitution has given talks about duties and responsibilities. So, these people, the brave hearts, by sacrificing their lives, they brought us freedom, but now it is our duty to preserve the freedom and grow from strength to strength and convert, make our country uh, one of the top most countries in the world. For that, following these duties and responsibilities is very important. Unfortunately, our constitution, it is not laid down. If you don't carry out your duty or responsibility, there is no punishment for that. But it is our responsibility if we respect our country we have to follow these duties some of the duties are we have to respect our national flag and our national anthem second we have to respect our constitution constitution and then we have to protect our unity and integrity of the country we have to protect our cultural diversity we have to protect our environment and there are so many such, such responsibilities. We have to respect the law. We have to protect the public property which we don't bother. And as I said, mentioned earlier, we have to protect the environment. Under this, I just like to take one minute to, I'd like to deliberate on this. It means basically what our present uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji started uh, when he took over as uh, Prime Minister, in, the, in his first uh, speech at Lal Kila, he said he started a drive called cleanliness drive. So we should respect our environment in the sense we should learn to live clean and we should bring up our children to live clean. For example, we should not spit on the road, we should not throw garbage on the road, okay? Then we should not involve in the open defecation of the road, which we have been doing everywhere. The government is trying the best to provide bathrooms and toilets etc. Especially for girls, children in the schools and all. Earlier there were no facilities. So, we as elders, especially for the tiny tots, they just watch us and learn. Whatever we are doing, they try to imitate. So, in front of them at least we should not do such things. For example, one of the rules is following the traffic rules. We go, if we are carrying our kids behind our uh, on a scooter or in two way, uh, four wheeler, if they are not putting on the helmet and they are traveling with us, they will also learn the same thing. If they are not putting on the seat bike, they are doing the same thing. And then follow the traffic rules, must respect the traffic lights. When it is red, please stop. A lot of guys keep going. Our police also, they cannot control everybody because of the population. There is so much of population is very different. And most important thing is we should not that our country is infamous. We are not able to grow at the rate at which we are supposed to grow because of we have a culture of corruption. Right from the topmost level to the bottom, everyone that we look for very convenient uh, uh, you know, convenience for us. And the NR is in a customer for go. We police the NR top mark and we will go to the NR top mark. We will go to the NR officer and we will go to the NR top mark. We will buy them. Actually, please remember one thing. It is not only the government officials or the politicians who are corrupt. It is we who are corrupt. If we, the guy who deals corruption is a bigger corrupt guy than the guy who are accepting. They are all taking because we are giving them. Let us resolve today that we will stop giving corruption and follow what is right for our country. If we love our country. If we love our country and if we are patriots, 
and we want our country to develop and remain integral. Because there are so many external enemies, there are so many internal enemies that are trying to play for country, that are trying to discipline our country. There are some political parties, because of the power of the selfish, uh, this motto, they are trying to play for country, because they just want power. They are not bothered about what happens to the country. So all of us, or the most important tool in our hand is voting power. And the value of voting is so much, even the value of a vote of President of India or Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, his value of vote and our value of vote is the same. So we must use it, we should think about the future of the country and use it properly. Otherwise, if we just think about a few things, somebody comes and gives some money or promises some, or makes some promises, just develop that. If we sell ourselves and put them into the business, our country will, is going to disintegrate sooner or later. So we are, will grow weaker and weaker. And only those people, they will get stronger and they will enjoy them. So we have to think whether we want each and all of us, each and every one of us and our children should have a good future, you should think and work. So it is our responsibility. Who we should stop giving bribe to people. So because it is very important for us to become a non-corrupt people. Everything in this country should grow based on the merit. It's not because some politicians, uh, relative or son or something, they should not get elected. For example, we have an example. The present Prime Minister doesn't come from a political family. He came on merit. So we all believe, I mean, agree that a lot of good things are happening for the country. So we must think first about the country. So now just to say a few words about my own journey in this uh, country. Thanks to the children who read Brother Philip. Thank you so much for reading so so nice things about me. When I joined, I joined Navy. Our basic initial training was in an organization uh, called Naval Academy, which used to be at Kochi. First day, it is a very tough training. The very first day in the classroom when you are sitting, they just made us take some oath. They said, we as an officer, whatever we do, everything, the, 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 the first thing what we do, we should love. The first thing which comes, we should come to us in the interest of the country, each and everything. Whatever we are doing, we should think whether are we doing good for the country, is it in the good interest of the country, first thing each and every time. Second thing is, since we are, I was getting trained as an officer, whatever we are doing, secondly, is it in the good interest of the people working with us, or the colleagues, or colleagues? And third, and every time the last thing is, whether is it in the good interest of ourselves? So our interest comes last each and everything. So if we follow this system, like, whatever you are doing, you just see, am I doing good thing for the country or not? And then, am I doing good thing for my my friends and society or not, and then your own interest. But actually speaking, unfortunately, in most of the cases, for self-interest comes first. We all agree with that. So we should keep this in mind. And I would like to say that services, see everyone serves the country. If you ask the guy, why do you want to join the military, they say, I want to serve the country. Everybody is serving the country. I would say, uh, Kisan is serving the country as good as a soldier. Vokalika is the train of Mutana Sivoda. So, Allah Kinta, Mahatma Arko. I will teach us. Teach us in life that I wouldn't have studied, I wouldn't have come up to this level, or anybody for that matter. Teacher, number two, highly respected. We should give them respect. And for the children, you should respect your parents. If our parents are there, they will be talking. They will be. So you should respect your parents. So this is one thing, we should always seek out the country whatever we are doing. I mean, another one, uh, I just like, I, want, I quoted this analogy also. John F. Kennedy and the American president in the 60s. So when he was addressing the nation, he said, ladies and gentlemen, Think what you can do for the country. Don't ask what the country can do for you. We always ask, this is the first time we have to do this. We have to do this. First, now we have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. 
ಕಾನೂನು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಯುವಕರು ಸೈನ್ಯವನ್ನು ಸೇರಿಸಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಗೌರವವನ್ನು ಕಾಪಾಡಬೇಕು ಸರಿ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಪತಾಕೆ ಮುಗಿದ ಎತ್ತರದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾರಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುವುದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್